Hey, good morning. It is Tuesday the 29th, and today is the debates tonight. The first presidential debate between former Vice President Joe Biden and our current president, Donald Trump. Do you think we'll have truth tonight? <laughs> I guess it depends on how you look at it. I'm sure everyone will be presenting their best case forward. I'm not going to get involved with that. Maybe tomorrow we'll see, but not going to get involved with that. But truth, Jesus said in John 8, verse 32, that the truth shall set you free. And that is believing in his words. Jesus' words are truth. And there becomes freedom. Truth sets you free. That's an interesting concept, isn't it? I have been reading a book, uh, I just finished a book, about um, the killing of Crazy Horse by Bill O'Reilly. I've been very fascinated by the killing series of books that he has written uh, along with Martin, and they uh, have opened my eyes to a lot of things that I didn't know, a lot of history that I didn't know. Uh, but this is the story of how the American government uh, took on the Indians and different tribes from all over. It's a fascinating book. I invite you to take a look at it. It's, um, it's an easy read, and it's a book that I just couldn't put down. I just had to keep reading because it just kept me going, going. So I read it in, in a very short time. But it was very fascinating for me to see about the deceit that went on and the slaughter and the destruction. It was just following or involved around the Civil War time as well and how the different tribes related what we did as Americans to these Indians. And when I see a poster that says, well, we're living on stolen land, it truly is, because we didn't buy it. We just shoved people off or slaughtered them. Or Yes, there was slaughtering on both sides, but nothing like what was done to the Native Americans. It's embarrassing. It's, it's sobering. It is uh, something that I wish had never taken place like that. It's too bad. It's really sad, and it uh, makes us think about the other. You know, the Civil War going on. Uh, sometimes people glamorize what's war. Sometimes we see in movies the, the glamorization of war. War is horrible. And even uh, during the Civil War, um, General William Sherman, who did the March to the Sea, remember? Uh, who shortly after the invasion of Atlanta and faced the assault of a city government. Now he wrote this to it. In these words he said, war is cruel and you cannot refine it. I'm tired and I'm sick of this war. It is only those who have never fired a shot nor heard the shrieks of the groans of the wounded who cry aloud for more blood, more vengeance, more desolation. War, war is hell. So those who have stood up and paid for our freedom our freedom that we can sit and that we can be free and that we can vote and that we can know our religion and know the Lord and be know the truth. They paid a high price for our freedom. I'd like you to think about that today as we go through our debate tonight about truth and freedom. The truth shall set you free. Okay? Dear Lord be with us. I thank you. Help us to, uh, to be with our families and our friends and thing to help them understand the importance of truth and freedom. It truly does set us free and there's nothing to hide. Bless our country. Lord, I pray for the fires that are out west, for, for the uh, Adventist Health uh, Hospital in St. Helena, that old hospital and for Pacific Union College, who's in the way of the flames, and for many homes and things that are there, Lord, I ask you be with them all. Protect. 
be with those who've lost their homes. In your great grace and mercy, in Jesus' name, amen. All right, if you stay up, enjoy the debate, I suppose. I suppose. I hope it doesn't make you mad one way or the other, but we shall see. God bless. Have a good day, all right?